Hey guys, I'm Jared, and today we have a story for you about a 16 year old party goer who had her life drastically changed after just taking one pill of ecstasy. It is believed Leah Robinson took the pill over Christmas, and when she woke up from her induced coma in a hospital bed with tubes in her, I'm sure she had a lot of questions. And although it is next to impossible to determine what exactly was in the pill that 16 year old Robinson took, one thing we can be sure of is that ecstasy is a very dangerous drug, regardless of what people will try to tell you. Leah's mother, Carrie Robinson, took to Facebook to try and raise awareness of how dangerous the pill Pill really can be. She decided to take photos of her daughter in the induced coma and post them to Facebook on Boxing Day. It is believed Leah took a pill at a local party in Wigan, Greater Manchester. The first photo posted on Boxing Day, which you can see here, shows Leah in the hospital bed with tubes in her mouth, unconscious due to the coma the hospital put her in. It is believed the photo was captioned, I quote, my daughter had a brain scan and put in a coma because she took ecstasy. She is in a bad way. Please let there be a God and Leah be okay. I love her so much. The second photo Carrie posted shows her daughter awake, but still clearly not back to her normal self. Still covered in wires and what looks to be an oxygen mask hanging around her neck, Carrie captioned the photo, I quote, this is what ecstasy does, please don't take them. According to the Sun, Leah was eventually discharged from the hospital and sent home where she was recovering just days after the incident. Carrie then thanked everyone for sending their messages to her in hopes of Leah pulling through and making a speedy recovery. Carrie said she blames herself but also know kids will be kids and will want to try things. Kids want to try things, they see stuff on TV, the media and so on and think it's everything it looks like. But hopefully it can be used as a warning to other curious teens for generations to come. Carrie said Leah, I quote, suffered hypothermia as well and she's very lucky they got to her in time. She went on to say, I quote, I just hope kids will think twice before taking these pills. Reports are actually claiming two other teens were treated after taking the same batch of pills, and although Great Manchester police are looking into it, there are no reports confirming if they were treated at hospital. As mentioned before, regardless of what people say, drugs can be extremely dangerous. It's not regulated by anyone, so when you buy drugs from a drug dealer, you literally have no idea what you're putting into your body. I just hope whoever is watching this is smart enough to understand. Obviously, I can't stop people from doing what they want, but just please think twice, do your research, and stay safe guys. Here's to sending Leia, Carrie, and their whole family our best wishes. And now to pick up our spirits a little bit more, let's answer some of your comments. In the video about Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg running for president in 2020, Ben Jean said Mark versus Kanye 2020. You know what man, if that's the case, it would give us a lot to talk about. So really, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for that because that'd be great. Doggo said Mark Zuckerberg would be an awful president. And that's it. And it's great to say things Doggo, but... Maybe you want to back up your claims? Now as always, my name is Jared. I want to know your thoughts on everything we covered in this story, so drop me a comment down below. Until then, I'll see you guys soon.